welcome back to my channel once again. Today is my last installment of my Cannes Film Festival tutorials. So this first look is like a burgundy smoky eye and it's really intense and um, I really like the composition of it all. So it was seen on Natasha Polly on the red carpet at the Cannes Film Festival. The second look I'm doing was seen on Sanam Kapoor who's um, an Indian actress. So it's sort of exotic and it's very dramatic. They're both really dramatic looks so I hope you guys like this. It might be a long tutorial, sorry about that. But I uh, hope you guys like this and if you want to learn how to do the two looks, just keep watching. Here's the picture of Natasha Polly that inspired me. Enjoy! First, I'm starting with my Nude Magique Eau de Tonne foundation and I'm applying it with a sponge. This one's by Manicare. And I'm just sponging it all over my face. This sponge was a little bit damp, but because I used a sponge, it's not going to be as full a coverage, so I did a few layers. And then I'm using my True Match Anti Fatigue Illuminating Pen in N4 to conceal any blemishes that I have and just patting them in with my finger. As I've said in previous videos, this pen actually has quite good coverage, so I do like to use it on spots, not just for illuminating. Then straight on to business, this is the Le Cajal Pencil, so a really smoky um, eye pencil that's as black as possible. I'm applying it to the waterline and also very roughly to my upper and lower eyelash line. Um, also right into the inner tear duct, just make it really messy like that. <laughs> now I'm using a brush to blend it out. This is just a little eyeshadow brush. I'm just trying to soften the edges here. This is really going to act as a base because I will be applying like black eyeshadow. Now I'm using another brush to just soften it out even further, so that's a clean brush. And now I'm using in Color Infallible Endless Chocolate Eyeshadow through the outer socket. Here I'm trying to create like a burgundy color, so I'm actually going to add this burgundy color or this maroon color from the um, Disco Smoking Color Riche Quad, just patting that over the top. Here I'm going back in with a little bit of the Endless Chocolate to just deepen up the socket a little bit more before going in with some black eyeshadow to really make it a very very smoky eye. This black eyeshadow is called Eternal Black and it's a color infallible um, eyeshadow as well. They're really really nice eyeshadow. This one's actually got a bit of like black um, and silver sparkle to it. So I'm patting that all over the lid as you can see just all over where the Le Cajal pencil was and use the same brush that you used to apply the brown and the maroon to soften out the edges and blend those two colors into each other. And then as always, I'm using my Superliner Brow Artist Brow Pencil in Blonde to do my eyebrows. And then I also use the wax end to position the hairs. Now I'm going back in with my True Match pen to conceal underneath my eyes. And pat that in with my finger because there might be a little bit of darkness from the shadow fallout, but this will get rid of all of that. Fave mascara is the Butterfly Wings mascara and I'm applying that liberally to my top and bottom eyelashes before going in with my Glam Bronze Blonde Harmony bronzer um, sculpted underneath my cheekbones. I like this look with a smoky eye, nice sculpted cheekbones. And then the blush is Le Blush in number 145. It's a nice, nice dusky rose colour with a bit of shimmer. And then for my lips, I just wanted a soft pout. Um, I don't know what she had on in the picture, to be honest, but I'm applying this Sakura Petal Lipstick just with my fingers before applying my Glam Shine Lip Gloss in Clear Crystal. I really think this is just a nice way to have like a nude looking lip just with a bit of a flush of pink. And that's the finished look. I love it. Let me know what you think. Now we're already on to the second look, which I think you guys are absolutely going to love. It's the Lumi Magique Primer to start out with. And then again using the sponge, but this time with True Match Foundation, and I'm in the color N4. Once again, I did believe that I layered this up quite a bit so I would get the coverage that you'd usually get. Now I'm taking the Color Riche Quad in Maroon Glacé, and I'm applying this silvery color. I'm going to apply it under the eye using a pencil brush and then I'm also going to sculpt it through the socket but then later blend it out with a blending brush. Now I'm taking the lightest colour from the palette and dusting it all over the lid just as a bit of highlight and add some shimmer. Now I'm using the Perfect Slim Eyeliner to create like a really high angled winged liner just like in the photo that I saw so starting actually with the point and then bringing it in that's how I'm working it 
This product is really easy to create a wing with because it has a very pointy um, tapered tip anyway. So I find that it's very easy to create that wing and make it dramatic and also work into small areas like the inner corner of the eye. Now I'm actually taking a mid-tone brown from the palette and smoking it underneath the eye for a bit more drama. And then I'm taking the Colour Riche Le Col in 120 Immaculate Snow and applying that to my waterline. It's not something I usually do, but it will give my eyes a more round appearance, which I think works well with this look. Now you can apply mascara. This is the Volume Million De Sills. And I'm having a little jam to some music here. I was listening to Chris Brown. Um, so top and bottom lashes. And this mascara makes it look like there's a lot of lashes, so that's a good thing. Here I'm using my Brow Artist Pencil in Blonde to just sculpt my brows a little bit and then brush them into place after using the wax. And then this blush is number 150 blush and I'm actually not going to apply it traditionally. I'm just using a fan brush to actually apply it underneath my cheekbones as I would a normal bronzer. But then I'm going to go back over with my Glam Bronzer in Blonde Harmony. I think this makes it look like a very Bollywood look because it adds lots of colour. And one of my favourite lipsticks of all time is the Colourish Lipstick in 374. It's this beautiful burgundy shade. And I'm going to use actually um, an, an angle brush to apply this to my lips. I'm starting with the Cupid's Bow to get that perfect little sharp angle. And then lining the outside rim of my lips all the way around. And then I go in with the tube to get a really full colour. And here you go. That's the finished look. Give us a smile, Chloe. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Hope you guys liked the looks. Let me know which was your favorite below. And thank you so much for tuning into my can makeup looks. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.